Welcome to AdOptions Academy, powered by Edmentum Courseware. With AdOptions Academy, you can take interactive courses and assessments that fit your individual learning style. This tutorial will help you to understand the difference between course activities and unit activities in your online courses and how to submit them. To begin, log into your AdOptions Academy Maestro account and launch the desired course. From the home screen, select All Activities for your desired enrollment. Note that your courses are organized by units with a final assessment at the end. Units may contain lessons, discussions, course activities, unit activities, and a mastery test. These various activities are color-coded based on your progress. Any component that is in progress will appear with a blue bar. Those that you have completed or mastered will appear green. Those that you have completed but not mastered will be yellow. And anything you have not started will be gray. Please complete your course in the unit and lesson order in which it is presented. Remember that your course has been designed specifically so concepts, information, and skills can build upon one another. Skipping between units and lessons can disrupt the learning process and get in the way of your overall success. Do not skip around and complete the units or activities out of order. Now, let's talk in more detail about course and unit activities. Course activities are small-scale, interactive tasks that will deepen understanding of concepts covered in lesson tutorials. They are graded, but are not a significant portion of your overall course grade. Unit activities are larger-scale, culminating activities for the material covered. Unit activities are important because they will be worth at least 20% of your overall course grade and may account for a greater percentage depending on the class you are enrolled in. Generally, unit activities are intended to be an extension of the material covered in the unit. They are research-based and require time and critical thinking. They are meant to be an extension of what you have learned throughout your course lessons and tutorials and help your instructor understand the depth of your knowledge. Completing unit activities thoughtfully and in their entirety is key to your success in your online course. Neglecting to complete your unit activities will have a large impact on your overall final grade in your online course. Next, let's look at how to submit course and unit activities. The process for each is the same. Select the desired course or unit activity. Once the activity launches, notice that the Graded Activity pane will be open next to the side toolbar. The slides will present relevant background information for the activity, as well as a scoring rubric and instructions for completing all tasks. Many of these tasks will be embedded within your course's learning environment. In this case, simply type your answers in the text box. Some activities will require you to submit additional information or materials, which you can do using the digital Dropbox available on the Graded Activities pane. To upload a file, select the Files tab and click on Upload New File to attach your file. You can also click Record Audio Submission to record and upload an audio file. If you want to delete an uploaded file, click on the file name, then click Delete Selected File. Once you have completed all tasks associated with the activity and uploaded additional files, click on Submit for Review to send your work to your teacher for preliminary review and to receive feedback. Click on Submit for Grading to send to your teacher for final grading. Congratulations! You've completed the Admentum Courseware How to Submit Unit and Course Activities tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to understand the features of your program.